But David, now that you're just about finished with your first off season running Mets baseball operations, how do you grade yourself? How do you grade your group? Overall assessment of how you've done here in your first winter? I think any team is a continual work in progress, and um, teams evolve not only over off seasons but over the course of the season as well. And so we're going to continue to work to do everything we can to to not only put the best product we can, a competitive product, a playoff caliber product um, on the field for this year, but set ourselves up for long-term success. Our, our goal as an organization is to compete for championships every single year. Uh, and so we do have to take um, both a near-term view and a long-term view as we make our decisions. So that word competitive, you just used it. It's been used in reference to the 2024 Mets quite a bit. We could drill down on that a little bit in terms of what what does that look like to you? What does a competitive team mean? That's a different way to frame it rhetorically than, say, a team that uh, will be contending for a championship. What does competitive look like to you? We should be competing for a playoff spot. We should be building a team that has the ability to make the playoffs, and that's certainly our expectation for our team. Um, I believe we'll be able to meet that expectation, and we should have exciting baseball in September and October for our fans to be proud of. Did you have to remain disciplined? just yourself emotionally. Uh, you're a competitive person, I'm sure. I know Steve Cohen is a competitive, aggressive owner. Uh, was it challenging to avoid those big splashes that may have been an adrenaline rush at the press conference or at the signing, but not something you would have considered best uh, long-term interest of the organization? I, I think, um, look, I, I think you're always drawn to what is going to be fun and attractive immediately, right? Delayed gratification is, is tough in any walks of life. I can confirm that. Um, it's, tough in, it's tough in baseball as well. Um, so sure, there's, there's always that allure. We also have to recognize that you know, my job is not necessarily to win headlines um, or to win the off season. My job is to win baseball games right. and, and to put teams together uh, that can win consistently. And, and so every move we make that's what we're trying to do. And there are going to be times um, where we're going to uh, make big splashes. Steve has certainly proved that as an owner, he's very capable and willing to do that. And there will be times uh, in the future mm -hmm. where we're very capable and willing to do that. Um, and to this point in this off season, um, you know, we've taken a slightly different route, but I think it's one that sets us up well. So of all the starting pitchers that you had to choose from, uh, you choose Luis Severino, you've introduced him. You also chose uh, Sean Manaya, who more recently uh, became an official signing. Uh, you had a lot of options. Why did you choose Manaya? So I think a lot of what we saw from Sean um, in the second half of last year with the Giants gave us pretty good confidence that he can take another step forward from where he is in his career. And, and this is a pitcher who's been a pretty consistent left-handed pitcher during his big league career, has had some very good years. Uh, but it's rare to see a, a pitcher who's had that level of success, who's established himself in the big leagues, to get to this point in career in his career and really change who he is a little bit. And, and he was able to do that midstream during a season last year. And so that's pretty exciting to us. There, there's real growth there. Um, and we think he's set up for a very successful season. So you've been open about weighing the pros and cons about adding a full-time designated hitter. And uh, obviously, as we sit here today, you haven't made a final decision on whether you do that. Are you any further along in saying, no, we're good with Avientos and Stewart or internal say, or you'd like to go out and get someone? Where are you on that as we sit here? I think it's a continual evaluation. Um, and it's, it's both an evaluation of how we feel internally, those discussions continue, and also an evaluation of, of what's available. Um, and how that may impact various players on our team. And it really is this balance between uh, bringing someone a little bit more established um, versus allowing our young players to play a little bit more. And that's a, a balance we're constantly gonna have to, to, to find, um, not only this year, but going forward. I am a big believer in letting your younger players play. Mm -hmm. At times, that means that you're gonna have uh, some hiccups at the major league level. Um, and even in New York, we have to be okay with that. We, we have to understand that at times we're going to play young players and they're not going to succeed immediately. And we have to be patient. Um, and if we are, we'll be rewarded for that. So finally, on that uh, topic of young players, and we know that 24 is a year to see a lot of what you already have, have you gotten to know the organization well enough to identify a pitcher and a position player who could help the Mets you know, now, in April, if necessary, uh, if injuries happened or, or whatnot? guys who are ready now sure I, th I think if you if you look at the upper levels of our system anyone who is slated to begin the year in AAA is a phone call away right is an injury away 
from a prospect perspective, we'd like to give guys like Drew Gilbert, Luis Angel Acuna a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. um, we'd like them to solidify themselves in AAA. But the truth is, anytime you're in AAA, you're a phone call away. And, and that's how we have to operate. And on the pitching side, Mike Vassell would be the first guy up, potentially? You know, I, I, I think that remains to be seen. I think certainly he has the experience in, in AAA, which probably gives him a little bit of a leg up. But I think we're excited about what that entire rotation could mm -hmm. look like. And then all of this depends on injuries and, and what happens through spring training. But we look at that the entirety of what our AAA rotation um, could be. And really, any of those guys, I think we would feel comfortable um, giving a shout out to the major leagues at some point over the course of the season. It's excited to get to St. Lucie as the head of the Mets baseball operations I, where you started as an intern? I, I am excited. It, this is a fun time of year. Um, you know, spring training uh, is a great time to get to know your organization, meet a ton of people. Um, it's a time for, for real optimism. Um, and, and that optimism, I think, is deserved, and I'm looking forward to it.